Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at how to edit like Hello Emily. So today is not going to be a normal how to edit tutorial like you usually see on my channel. We're going to look at color palette first and how important it is. And then I'm going to show you how to make a basic edit so you can achieve a similar look to hers. As I mentioned before, to achieve her look, you have to understand one thing first, and that is color palette. This video, Emily might already changed her style a little bit on Instagram, with different colors in her Insta feed. In my opinion, it's not the preset that makes her Instagram feed awesome, but the way she uses colors and color palette to her advantage. So let's have a look at Emily's Instagram feed. So you can roughly guess by the last 9 to 12 images what the main colors in her Instagram feed is. You might guess it's orangey, it's reddish. Now to get a better understanding of what color Emily actually uses in her Instagram feed or in her latest images, I like to use the Adobe Color CC tool. What I do is I take a screenshot of her latest images from her Instagram feed and I drag it into Adobe Color CC. What we see now is what primary colors she's using for her Instagram feed and as you can see it's a lot of orange tones, a lot of red tones, a lot of um, dark tones, a little bit of bluish. And why this is so interesting, if we just go back a little bit in her timeline on her Instagram and just pull another image or pull another screenshot of her feed, you can see now that the color palette is totally different. So the second picture I took of her Instagram feed, it shows primarily blue and light colors and it shows us that color can change over time in an Instagram feed. What can we learn from that? I find it really interesting to flick through her Instagram feed and see how she changes the color slightly from blue to red and back to blue or to another color. One tip I want to give to you guys is choose a color palette and stick to it. Do you want that orangey reddish tone like Emily has now? So then go out, look for backgrounds that are in the same color tones, in the same red and orange that she has right now. Dress appropriately, like also in this tone or in black and white and shoot for the color. Don't be discouraged if you don't find this orangey and red tone in your surroundings and backdrops because Emily is traveling around the world and she sees a lot of these red tones on beaches, on sand dunes, in the desert. If you don't have these things in your backyard or just in your area, go for another color palette. Like if you're living in a cold country, it's winter time now, go for a white bluish color palette. Use the surroundings to your advantage. Alright guys, you made it to the editing part of this video. Just a short reminder, the edit only supports what you already have shot in your camera. If you base your photos on a specific color, in a specific color area or color palette, that's the, the edit supports your colors, exaggerates the color scheme that you already have. Alright, let's go to the computer and I'll show you the base edits I would apply to a similar image that she has. So here we go. I first want to pull up the temperature to around 7500 and set the exposure a little bit higher. And then I go to the tone curve and crush the highlights and blacks and make it to a slight S curve. Then I go down to the HSL slider and just make some tiny adjustments. Again, I'm going down to the sharpening part, add a little bit of sharpening there. And for the last part, I like to tweak the camera calibration. Now guys, if that was too fast for you, just go back to the video, pause it, copy my settings onto your Lightroom photo, and you should have a pretty good base edit for your color scheme. Recap! First thing, find a color palette and stick to it. Second thing, keep that color palette in mind when you shoot your images. 
Third and last thing, apply a base edit over your images to exaggerate the color palette that you already have in your image. Alright, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would really appreciate a thumbs up for this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please, 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 please share this video if you really, really like it. It helps me and you support this channel for more edits. Also, if you have another idea on which artist I could do next, don't forget to write down that, that name into the comment section and I see you guys in the next video. That's my choice, what I need to be free. Still thinking how real love should feel when I know that it's not.